What's up guys, I'm at Carl's house again today. Um, we got Marcus come up here. He um, wants to show us how to detail our cars because I don't have a clue how to like fully detail a car. So we figured we'd film it and show you guys as well. So yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna do a full, eh, we're not gonna compound the car because I'm just gonna polish it. I'm gonna do clay bar, po polish, a polish and a wax and a wax. So uh, we're gonna start off with the clay bar. So this is a bar of clay. It's an auto, it's like, it's not, you can't just go to your regular hobby store and get a bar of clay and then start clay barring your car. Uh, there's a special clay, uh, Mothers, Meguiar's, there's probably other companies that have them out there, but um, basically what you do is you get the paint nice and wet in a nice little section uh, you can even spray the bar and you're gonna wanna spread this around make sure it's evenly wet because if you hit a dry spot it's gonna suck uh, but take the bar and just do circles small circles uh, in that section that you're starting at might as well just do this whole hood because me eyes are tiny <laughs> Yes, just circles, um, and what that does is it picks up. There actually wasn't much. It picks up the dirt and anything that's in the uh, in the paint. Um, so every once in a while, you're gonna want to like fold it and squish it and get that dirt dug into the clay so it's not continuing to scratch the paint. Uh, but once you when you're clay barring, you're gonna want to polish afterwards. You can't just clay bar and wax. Looking Sorry. at the person that clay bars and wax. Um, suck. All right. <laughs> it's okay. But the uh, Live and learn. clay bar in your car puts in little micro scratches that add up to swirls. So you're going to have to compound and clay bar and wax. Um, and what you're looking for when doing this is just a smooth, you can, I'd, I'd suggest using gloves uh, just so your hands aren't all pruney and whatnot. Um, but you can run your hand across it and feel where it's smooth and where it's not, where you need to rub more. And whatnot. Like down here where most of the dirt is going to be hitting the car is really rough. Sometimes you'll even be able to hear it that it's rough. Just finished clay bar in the car. Um, actually, wasn't as bad. I think you got a shot of that this one like back quarter panel. Um, right now, we're gonna polish it. I don't think it really needs a compound. The swirls are not that serious. Um, but so we're just gonna start with a Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. Uh, this is like a six-inch uh, orbital buffer. 
This is my shitty one that I keep dropping everywhere because it's cracked. Uh, but it works. I did my whole car with it a couple weeks ago, so it's all good. Nice soft pad. Um, for polishing, you want to try to get the softest pad as possible uh, just so it isn't scratching because the whole point of it is to not scratch. So let's get started. Okay, so I personally like to start on the hood. Uh, just kind of, you don't need too much, especially with polishing because if you put too much, it's just going to glide over it and it's not actually going to polish the surface. Uh, so just get it nice and mixed in there. And sometimes you got to add a little bit more once it actually mixes in there. But the hood's a nice place to practice on because it's flat. It's not, you can see the progress on it a lot easier. They are nice. doing this you don't want to put too much pressure on because with buffers like this if you put too much pressure on it you can, I don't know if you can even see that but you can stop it from actually spinning instead of rotating the actual thing if you put too much pressure on it it'll stop it from spinning so you want it to keep spinning as you're going over so it's not staying in one spot and possibly messing up your clear coat corner of his, of his hood uh, there's a little bit of like scratches little swirls that are a lot more serious than the rest of the hood um, so instead of trying to get the big buffer in there I'm gonna do it by hand uh, with just a little bit of polish and this like abrasive uh, buffing pad not like crazy it's not it's still like soft foam but it's gonna get those little swirls out so nice See, if I just used the big buffer, it would have just, that would have stayed there. The rest of the hood would look good, but that would have just stayed there, and that's, that's no bueno. So, we're about to start waxing. Well, there's a good chunk of time we didn't we just didn't even record because we we're just trying to get it done um, but yeah so we're about to start waxing and the way that I do my waxing is um, I'll put it on with the buffer and I'm using full synthetic uh, mothers so non carnuba just full synthetic mothers um, I'm not sure if mothers even has this in stores right now um, but I got it in like a care package from mothers uh, but this stuff is amazing um, so I guess we'll just show you uh, when I put it on, and then I'm gonna take it off with this softer, like wool pad. So, is there a difference between synthetic and non-synthetic? Um, I feel like the only difference that I've found is taking it off. Just makes it a little bit easier. Um, and putting it on is just smoother. Yeah, well, that wasn't enough. See, I'm trying to tell you guys not to use enough, but I don't use enough. How is his gut? Go ask how his gutting is going, man. Right. But that's not a Miata. That's a stupid 240. Alright, they're JK. still fucking cool. It's. It's pretty cool. It's got an RB. I mean, you should walk around the other side and all the crap that I took out. Alright, I'm ready. I got. I got more wax. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talking about the shitty 240. Okay. And 
unlike polish, you actually want this to like dry and like kind of whiten up. But it's kind of annoying to have to like rip them off and put them back on. But whatever. is it not worth doing the whole panel at once, or does it, it dry is, too quick? I'm trying quick? to show you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to show them. After this, when we put the camera down, I'll do that. I'll do a whole side. Hi. All right, so this is a dry pad. Uh, I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of detailing spray on it, just to lubricate it up a little bit. This isn't my detailing spray. Thanks, Kyle. Damn. You don't want it to be completely dry, because then it's kinda, it could possibly scratch it, but with all this wax and polish on it, it's not going to. detailing spray so we're gonna take this like super soft uh, fancy ass microfiber and you can literally just run it across and it'll clean everything off yeah doing it this way you just it's like impossible to get any leftover residue and you're still getting wax onto the car just got done with it she is shiny I think that's the cleanest this car's ever been that's me fuck you <laughs> so we just got done she looks freaking amazing big thanks to this guy for hooking it up and doing that course, for me of course yeah hopefully you guys like this video um a bit different but you know um, let us know in the comments sort of things you would like us to do in our videos. You know, we've got two Miatas to work on. So, yeah, she's all done. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.